Well, well, well. So Kev got kicked out the game last night. Huh? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija, Sports Edition. All right, y'all. As y'all probably know by now, Milwaukee Bucks quipped the asses of the Golden State Warriors. And with that being said, Kevin Durant was kicked out of the game. You know, he was hit, but oh well. You know, with all the calls that he gets that go his way. So, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo scored 32 points. Kevin Durant's return from a rib injury ended early in the second quarter with an ejection. And the Milwaukee Bucks beat the Golden State Warriors 116 to 107. The Bucks beat the Warriors for just the second time in their past 10 meetings and stayed five games ahead of Detroit for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Listen, I need them to step this uh, game up a little bit um, so they can have a better standing in the playoffs. So right now, it, I'm not really, I'm not really happy with their standing if the playoff was to start today. Anyway. Sidelined by a fractured rib in the previous six games, uh, Durant argued after no foul was called on a drive through three defenders. That's what he did. Trey Maddox whistled him for a technical foul, then gave him another and tossed him with two points seconds left. Chris Middleton converted two free throws to cap off an 11-0 run that gave Milwaukee a 58-49 halftime lead. Still without Stephen Curry, though, he's got a sprained ankle. Don't forget, uh, Clay Thompson with a broken thumb. The Warriors lost their third straight game in the seventh in the past ten. Outing. Houston clinched the number one seed in the Western Conference, and if Golden State fell a game behind, East leading Toronto for the NBA's, NBA's second best record. Hmm, I didn't know that. Okay, so now we have Houston in the number one seed. Golden State fell a game behind the East lead in Toronto. But this wasn't what the Warriors coach Steve War, uh, Curry had in mind when he said during the pregame conference, it should be a lot more fun with the return of <laughs> Draymond and Green. I mean, Draymond and um, <laughs> Durant, I'm sorry. Durant had 10 points, 6 assists, six assists 3 rebounds, 17 in the first half. Um, uh, let's see. Green, who had missed the previous games with a pelvic contusion and flu-like symptoms, he just needed a rest, contributed 11 points and 6 assists. Because you know, boys get worked pretty hard for the money that they make. And a lot of time people get misconstrued whether they're human beings or whether because they're gladiators are they actually robots. Uh, but I contend they're human. Um, the Warriors never threatened again after Durant was tossed. The all-star forward leads the NBA with five ejections and now has 14 technical fouls. Too short of a threshold for one game suspension. Boy, Kevin, what happened to the mild man of good nature, Kevin Durant? I guess he tired of y'all asses, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me go. Bucks led at 92 to 72 after three quarters, and then Middleton scored 23 for Milwaukee. Anthony Tukumpo scored 30 for the sixth time this month, and for the 21st time on the season. Quinn Cook, who was starting in the place of Curry, had uh, had a career high of 30 points to lead the Warriors in the scoring. For the fifth time in the past seven games, Bucks guard Malcolm Brogdon left quadriceps and Matthew Della Vadova right ankle both sidelines since February remain out with no timetable for their return. According to interim coach John jo- Joe Prunty, center Thon Maker, he missed when he had a groin injury and he missed his third straight game. Kerr said that Thompson could return as early as Saturday at Sacramento, but isn't even certain to play on Sunday at home against Phoenix. It's a day-to-day thing, he said, but it's getting close. 
Thompson missed his eighth straight game with a fractured right thumb. And that's what I'm really worried about. Because if they want to um, make it in the playoffs, there's no way in hell they can be without Curry and Clay. There's no freaking way. And Durant, uh-uh. Nope. You can't carry him like that. Just like you couldn't carry OKC like that. So you need to have both of these fellas back up in the lineup if they plan on um, making any kind of a semblance of a push like the champions they are. If not, it's going to be held to the captain. Anyway, tonight uh, the Bucks play Los Angeles Lakers. And um, on Saturday, the Warriors play the Sacramento Kings. Okay? So that's just a little sports update about my home team. Um, boy, that damn Andre Drummond is a damn beast, ain't he? Anyway, I'll be back a little later in the mental house, sports edition. Thank you.